Hello and welcome to Weekend Investing Daily Bites. We are shooting episode 332, 12th of January. And my usual sort of uh, refrain is that trust the price, not the narrative. And I'll show you several examples of the recent uh, stock price moves where this is very, very applicable. It, it would have saved a lot of folks uh, had they not been just trusting the narrative. But first, the... Uh, uh, the mandatory requirement these days for me is to make sure that every weekend investor uh, is familiar with the wild program which is the weekend investing loyalty discount program so if you have completed one year two years or three years with any weekend investing strategy a offer code automatically unlocks for you on the small case renewal page uh, and you only have to basically click, click through it. Uh, so this this discount is available for the current renewal as well as if you want to add on to any other uh, new strategy. And the format for the discount is here. In case you find that it is not automatically available, then first three letters of the month followed by two digits of the year, then wild and discount applicable. So it will be like JAN uh, 23 wild 20 uh, you know that will be the format in case it is not automatically applied uh, which i don't think would be the case but uh, just for convenience sake in case uh, you do feel you do uh, uh, get some technical error there today's market extreme choppiness continued after yesterday and uh, short term uh, trading strategies got hit uh, stairs from our trading uh, uh, Platform also got hit. Uh, IT stocks gained 0.4%. Autos remained flat. Real estate remained flat. But other than that, all other sectors losing ground. The US CPI data is uh, coming out later this evening. Um, it is widely expected that inflation will cool off a bit. If it does not, uh, we are going to have a shocker uh, morning on on tomorrow on tomorrow's market and if we do get a better than expected inflation cut we may see some greens but very choppy markets and uh, directionless to a large extent uh, in the last many days and you can you know see the uh, one week and one month outcome so this entire last month has gone by in choppiness and we haven't get any ground uh, since uh, beginning of december the overall broad indices you can see again ranging between plus 0.2 percent to minus 0.2 percent so nothing exceptional happening here and the weekend investing strategies also uh, you know sort of uh, dilly dallying around the zero mark plus or minus half a percent uh, along the strategy so nothing really uh, uh, you know uh, notable happening in these places right now uh, one thing one should always note is that whenever markets go into such, uh, you know, uh, state of confusion or indecision, a big move is almost always around the corner. So now whether it will be an up move or down move, I really don't know. But the the current situation seems to be poised for some more down, I think. I mean, that is my gut feel and bias, uh, biased uh, thought right now that, uh, you know, we are very, we are, we are basically just scraping the supports and not enthusiastically going into the CPI report. Uh, you know, we should have been at 18,000 plus if we were optimistic about it, but the market seems to be, uh, you know, doing some guessing work for the downside. It may, it may well be wrong. I don't know. But uh, uh, Reliance leading the down uh, charge at minus point, minus 2.1%, BPCL minus 2.1%, DB's lab minus 3%, it keeps falling. Uh, uh, some experts, uh, you know, who are very popular keep propping it up, but it keeps falling. Uh, Bharti Airtel minus 1%, Tata Motors minus 1.4%, Aisha Motors minus 1%. Indalco Asian Paints also nearly 1%, Kotak Bank, Axis Bank, Bajaj Finzer, ICICI Bank all 
reeling down infosys results pretty much in line slightly better than uh, what was expected but that came immediately after the market so the outcome will uh, the the result of that uh, re- move will be seen tomorrow morning lnt was the only sort of a green place along with hcl tech and ultra semco uh, in the nifty stocks today so the topic is trust the price and not the narrative so just to back up a bit in terms of you know where i am coming from as most of you already know that uh, you know i practice something what is called momentum investing and the primary uh, leading indicator for all our studies and our uh, thesis is price so we follow the gujarati saying bhav bhagwan che which means price is god so we believe that price has encapsulated all that is needed to be discounted for that stock at any point of time so if price is going up one should be buying the stock if price is coming down one should be selling the stock that is the basic uh, thesis that we follow as simple as that you know what's going up you buy it you what's coming down you sell it and there is no complication in that what is going up also should be allowed to go up further what is coming down should be gotten out of as quickly as possible of course you have to decide how tight your band will be for uh, you know getting out etc so this example is for gland pharma this stock listed after covid crash and it zoomed from 1600 1700 rupees to 4400 rupees i remember there was so much narrative and positive stories being spun around this stock that this is going to become like you know the next uh dv's lab or some some sort of that narrative was there and just see what has happened within a period of less than uh, maybe a little more than 2 years a stock has gone from 1700 to 4400 so almost uh, uh, i would say three times uh, and then collapsed to 1500 so all time lows have come on this stock uh from near 4400 it is down to uh, 1500 so that is a collapse of 66% now if you believed in this narrative and you got in somewhere here which most people would have you know at the, in the middle of this rally and you know it's very difficult to get out uh you know once you are so sure that this is going to 10000 that uh, you know this fall would have come people would have accumulated here more and then got excited on this one and then once this pivot got broken here this was the point to get out of it actually at from a even a non technical person's point of view once if a higher low has been broken out with a lower low this is the point you know 3300 was the place to get out of course it is very simple for me to to tell you this today but that's what the charts are indicating that the first sort of major uh, you know uh, exit should have been defined somewhere around 3300 which would have been about uh, you know 20 22% from the top which is fine i mean if you give up 20% from the top and get out of a loser uh, that is still good you would have saved 50% of your capital from 3300 it is we are now down to 1500 more than 15 50% of your capital would have been saved had you used some exit uh, indicator based on technicals here but in any case the idea is that the narrative was so strong you know some influencers experts are pushing this stock you know like gland pharma is the is the next big thing and of course uh, a lot of people will you know flow in that uh, in that uh, influence and and bet their house on this and 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 unfortunately this happens laura slabs another superstar now i'm not saying that this stock is not done well just see how beautiful this stock was you know it came down from 120 to about 50 rupees and we got in uh, into it somewhere around 90 or 95 i don't remember correctly but somewhere near that assuming at 100 rupees 
and we rode it all the way to 720. So we got 7x on this stock and then it starts to collapse and we got out near this, this crash of 520-ish odd. So we lost a lot of money on the downside here. But still we made 5x or more than, than that on this stock. But just see what happens after that. And this was a clear head and shoulders here. Uh, so, so, so ideal exit was you know, somewhere here, 590, etc. But we we follow a weekly rule. So by the end of the week, we were we were somewhere here. Now, what did this stock do? It actually did a head and shoulders here uh, with a uh, neckline of about 150 points. So when it broke down from 580, it came to almost its target price here at 440. And then it uh, sort of jogged around here, went up to, you know, get people in, suck people in. Again, came back to the support, again went up, uh, created a sort of a double top here and broke down of another head and shoulders pattern here, which is again now going down towards, I don't know, 280 or something like that. So, and, and every day it is making a loon low. So, my idea is that there are so many people pushing this, you know, people who have very good knowledge in pharma, they have been pushing to buy this stock at all times. Now, once a bubble, this was this was a bubble, see, see, there, see there's no harm in admitting that many stocks will go through a bubble, you know, much beyond what they are worth. And it's okay to write that and get out at some point. Why we need to marry Loras Lab, you know, why bring Loras Lab to in, into our emotions and say that, no, no, I will not, you know, get out of Loras Labs for the rest of my life. Why do you want to do that? So, so, so be, be objective. You, you, you came to the market to make money. This was a vehicle. This was a bus ready to... Uh, uh, ready to race you you boarded it. it it stopped somewhere middle it broke down you got out of it and you are not waiting now your capital has actually found some other opportunity in the last 15 months now 15 months this 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 stock has uh, the broke down from the first time it, it did broke down from uh, maybe september of 21 and it's been 15 months since then in 15 months uh, you know maybe just in the bank you would have made 10 percent and here you've lost uh, something like 60% uh, from this point also, uh, uh, from this breakdown point. So, uh, again, narratives have caused, uh, you know, people to stick to it. And once stock starts to fall, more narratives are thrown at you from, from these influencers and experts and, and managers to, uh, to sort of keep you glued in and, and, and give you stories about, you know, how it will go back to 700 and 1000. Maybe it will one day. Once it starts to go up, we can buy it again. What is the problem? Right? So, uh, the bus has stopped. The bus has broken down. If it starts to run again, we'll, we'll board it again. But right now, it is crashing. Next one. Bliss GVS Pharma. This talk, I remember in the last 6-7 years, there are so many times it has been touted as, you know, in the next big thing. And uh, a lot of, uh, you know, uh, reports claiming this to be a great, great stock. But to me, it, it seems like a sort of a very manipulated kind of a stock. You know, going from, uh, suddenly going from 30 to 280, then down to 80, then down then up to 220, then again to 80, then again to 220, uh, now down to 70. So, you know, maybe maybe this pattern will play out again. So, so. From that perspective, maybe this is a good price to get in with some risk management here. But uh, I mean, this is the kind of uh, stock that will continuously every year give you hope and then, and then you know, crash uh, your hope uh, because it just keeps going up and down and up and down. So this is also, you know, build narrative. What this is, this is the classic operation, you know, purchase stock, build narrative, dump it, purchase stock, build narrative, dump it. Uh, so, so while I'm not, I'm, I'm not sure what is happening in the background here, but looking at the chart, it does seem like some very interested parties are having a very fun time at the cost of, uh, you know, other investors in the market. DV's lab, 5,000 rupees in December 21, 3,200 now. So down 40%. Uh, one thing you must note in any stock. Any stock that starts to, you know, drop like this, it means there are, there are huge, huge amount of, you know, in sort of institutional selling or motivated selling in that stock. 
a stock which is firm, strong and is raring to go up will never have four days like this. I can guarantee you that. This movement itself tells you that there is something wrong and there is never one cockroach in the cupboard, so they say. So, so when this happens, I mean this and this and another one uh, in the making, this will come. This will never be isolated mostly. So again on this talk, and this may be a very good company. I'm not saying this will not do well, uh, you know, maybe five years later. But right now it is in the dumps. This this talk is, is creating a pattern which does not give you confidence. Uh, despite the strong narrative that people keep building on this talk, and I remember there are many stocks, and and I'm I'm, I'm choosing pharma as a as a as a template today. You know, uh, work hard pharma is another one. You know, I for ten years that uh, that company has been fooling the investors every time, giving you a very nice story about you know what they're doing and how it will go up, and and maybe Biocon is another one of them. Uh, so very very difficult to trade stocks where price is not leading. Once you see that the price is leading uh, the narrative there, I would, you know, be very, very interested to buy. But if you see that the price is not in line with the narration. So, you know, you come to the market, somebody is telling you great things about a stock, but the price is not moving that way. So, I mean, how, how is it possible that, uh, let's say you go to the auto showroom, and somebody is telling you that this is the best car to buy. It has this, 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 this features and, you know, this is the fuel efficiency and you cannot find a better car. But there are heavy discounts on that car. There is no waiting. There are heavy discounts on that car. Nobody is buying that car. But the narration that you have received from your expert is that, no, no, this is the best one. What, who, who or what will you believe? Will you believe the mass psychology of, uh, you know, everybody else who is not touching that car? Or you will, will you believe that expert who is who wants you to buy that car maybe for whatever gain or 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 uh, motive that they may have so please open your eyes please open your mind and realize that price leads the narrative and the narrative if it is in line with the price then you should go for it if narrative is not in line with the price movement please be cautious at least uh, you know of what you're doing so this is something that uh, will keep your portfolio in good stead. And this is uh, a, another uh, uh, tweet that I saw uh, this morning. I wish my team would have given credits here, but I will find that. Uh, so this is a list of stocks, uh, of various stocks which are down between 80 and 98%. So, so these companies, uh, you know, which were given the narrative of, you know, being the next big thing like Nikolai, you would have heard was the next Tesla killer, right? You heard so much about it. Uh, Luminar was the groundbreaking, you know, self-driving technology. Uh, Lucid was another one, a Tesla killer. Uh, Kazoo, you know, uh, similar to what, what we have car trade here, digital revolution of car buying. These stocks are down 97, 98, see 84, 85%. So whatever narrative they built to sell to their investors has not resulted in, uh, you know, their stock price going that way. In fact, the stocks have, these stocks have been going down, 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 down. So the narrative doesn't matter really. So uh, I'll end this uh, daily bite with the, uh, with the thought that you, that you must, uh, you know, grasp. And, and and bring into practice in your investing and trading that what you see is what you should get, right? If, if you are in IT services, you know what is WYSIWYG. What you see is what you get. Don't believe in something that you cannot see. If you are seeing that price is coming down, believe it. If you are seeing that price is going up, believe it. So with so much forecast, predictions and everything, uh, this is another sort of insight I, I thought I'll share with you. That I am feeling not so not so pessimistic about 2023. Everybody is is warning about the recession. India is still, I would still say, within five percent of an all time high is still not too bad for our markets. Uh, even if we have very good, very uh, heavy headwinds from the global market, I don't think we will go down much because 
earnings have caught up in this last year and a half of our of our you know being in a range so we have done a reasonably good time correction one and a half years is not a small period for time correction and earnings have caught up so i don't think there is too much of a downside uh, that's possible but that is just my guess on this so thank you so much for watching uh, the daily bites as always my request is that you share these videos with at least one person every day and that will be uh, you know uh, my uh, sort of uh, uh, and that is uh, and i would like you to share these videos with at least one person a day that is my request to you and uh, my expectation from you that this is you will you will do this for me uh, so thank you so much and i'll see you in another video bye